All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, presenting the challenger, Monster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, or be my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Slips. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
Fox with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. The right punches there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at the hurdle in that kick. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, misses with the jab. a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing his strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Right hand punch from the clinch. Fantastic takedown lane. Just misses with a left hook there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Good stick. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you pull a block shot that's in them. Slips the punch. Left hand punch to the clinch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, single collar tie here. Liver kick. Straight punch land. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Misses with the right hand. Knee strike coming, it is blocked. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strike. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, nice jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Oh, what a punch. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Got the single collar tie. Right on the button. Just out of range with that right hand. Fight's done. I mean, that right hand lands it square. Oh, collar tie. Good. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. What a beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the position that he has. That's going to go to the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and it's a flat over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. They need the takedown. Slips to avoid the right. Punch over the top. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And Sometimes DC it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Big kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. Straight right is there. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this room. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot and he drives his entire body into that hook. Just a slip there. Wild attempt with the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by Potiphar. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. He's hurt. He had him right there, man. 
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? What? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone forward, it is landing with more force and his opponents are starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Looking for the counter right now, no good. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice right hand. Beautiful lead of the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, he most certainly did. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Blocks that kick to the body. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Knee to the body. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce gentlemen, Buffer with the official the decision. Has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So the celebration.
celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his...